What's up guys? It's Selene and welcome to Camerahead Studios. I'm here to talk to you about seven mangas that I believe deserve anime adaptation. Number seven, Diamond Cut Diamond. Kurosu Kiyusuke crosses paths with Yuyama Siguyo seven years after they debuted on the show Esper Shoujin. Featuring The Esper 9, a TV show that exhibited kids with SP abilities. The murders of two of their former colleagues caused the remaining members to seek each other out to see how to stop the murders before anyone else gets hurt. Throughout the manga, you get to learn about each of these characters' different abilities and how it relates to their personality. Kuro, for example, has the ability of Sensory Link, where he matches his five senses to somebody else, without them even knowing. Number 6, Count Cain and Count Cain Godchild. This follows the events of Cain Hargrevis, a 16-year-old count. Having always been under the thumb of his father and being deemed the Earl of Poisons, death has always surrounded him. But along with his butler and only friend, Raphael Riffitt, he will find the truth of how he was born, while solving any other mysteries that plague London streets along the way. Cooking has gotten a bit more popular in the anime world. So, if we can have so many shows about sports, why not add to the rising popularity of orgasming after eating cereal? Number five, Addicted to Curry. Every cooking anime has touched on the idea of the power and mystery of curry. This follows Makito Kyojin, a curry chef trying to find himself as he furthers his skills. His past is unknown, but his undying charisma and goofy personality draw you in. The food reactions are not as overdone as we have commonly seen, but it hones in on the process of cooking the food. I find this creates a bit more of an inclusive feeling for the audience who might be interested in cooking these recipes. Number 4. Bambino and Bambindo Segundo. Becoming a chef is hard enough. Imagine becoming an Italian chef in the middle of Japan. This manga focuses on Shogo Ban as he makes his way through the ranks of one of the best Italian renaissance in Japan the Tortaria Bacanal. This manga focuses more on the motions of working in the kitchen, from being the dish boy to the executive chef. Along with the hardships of being in the kitchen, Bond has choices to make between his personal life and his career. Now, there was a drama that was aired in 2007, but I believe that anime provides a sort of different experience that dramas can't give. I'm not knocking the drama though, it's actually pretty good as its own separate media. Number 3. Hell's Kitchen Dogma, the Earl of Poor Eating, has been spending many years searching for the greatest delicacy in hell, the soul of a true chef. After many failures from eating souls of chefs around the world, he has decided to cultivate his own in Sotaro Maya, a middle schooler with no specific goals in life. By taking him under his wing, Dogma intends to make the perfect soul, and Satoru has found new meaning in life as he sets off to make new friends on this unexpected journey that's been thrown at him. Number 2. The Bloody Monday Series Fujimaru Takaji is a young brilliant hacker who is only in his second year of high school. Also known by his codename Falcon and having only dealt with digital dangers in the past, Fuji must learn to protect himself from the ones he loves as this all takes a turn for the physical world. In order to do so, he helps the Public Security Intelligence Agency figure out what a virus in Russia, the name Maya, and Bloody Monday have to do with national security. And number one, Red River. This starts with the simple life of 15-year-old Yuri Suzuki, finally getting that kiss from the boy that she's been crushing on for a while and managing to get into the high school of her choice. That is, until it's all snatched away from her when a queen transported her to the ancient kingdom of Hatyusa to be used as a sacrifice to make her son the king. With this, she's launched on a journey that will change the course of history forever. And surprisingly, this historic manga doesn't bore readers at all. It's quite action-packed as you watch the main character grow and change along the way. While the supernatural does play a defined role in the manga, it doesn't oversaturate making it become unbelievable. So those are my picks. Let me know what you think in the comment section. What are some mangas that you would like to see get animated? Until then, hit that like button and subscribe.